All right, so today I'm gonna talk about range estimation in the car. What the heck is typical? What the heck is rated? And what about ideal? Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna explain all that. So you see here, we have 132 kilometers of range. It's currently set to typical and range mode on. So I'm charging right now. Uh, but let me show you what happens. Okay, let me show you on this screen here. So again, 132 kilometers. Um, and it's an estimation of what what the range is based on the constant. So you know, it's sort of like um, a misconception. Many think people think that this this range depends on your driving style, but it doesn't. Tesla they set a constant based on what car you have. Uh, so you see, for instance, this one is a Model X. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, what, what? Is there no way to? No, no, shit, hang on, hang on, sorry for that, sorry for that, but this is a 90D, and, ah, oh, man, mm. okay, can I get rid of this, there, that one, can I like, no, no, no habla, okay, but anyway, the 90D, I have measured the typical to be 200 watt hour per kilometer, but the Model XP 90D, my car is 210 so in general you know um, um, a performance car consumes more energy than the non-performance cars so Tesla they have set different different um, constants based on the car because the 90 the Model S does not have 200 uh, I measure it to be about 173 it's way more efficient so basically Tesla they set a constant that matches like it's more realistic for you and if you go here to settings uh, language and units here you have the setting huh? let, me, let me just here okay so I'm zooming here so you see typical and rated and when you get the car it's usually set to rated now this is in Europe um, okay just to make the confusion complete rated is like the more optimistic uh, range estimation typical is more realistic range but in uh, US <coughs> rated is the realistic one and then you have ideal so in US this one would be named rated and this one would be named ideal just to make the confusion complete yeah but anyway we're just gonna stick to uh, Europe for now uh, so I'm gonna show you here, so I'm gonna t switch between rated and typical, and you're gonna see what happens. Okay, typical 132, rated 166. So, um, uh, when you have typical, the car will use 200 as the base for estimating the range, at the, but this one is 25% uh, more, uh, you get 25% more range. Uh, so the base here is 160 on this car. Now in the Model S it's probably different, maybe like 150 or something or even lower. But it's, again, let me repeat, it's a constant. It's not based on your driving style. Unlike every other EVs, you know, uh, E-Golf, i3, uh, Ionic, whatever, they have a GOM, a guess o -meter. Tesla, well, I mean, this one is not a GOM, it's not a guess o -meter. it's based on a constant. Alright, get that? Listen to Uncle Bjorn. So, uh, in a way, you, you can say that Tesla does not have a gum. And some people might not like it, some people like it. I like this one because it's more consistent. The gum is nice, but the gum will, you know, you see this graph, you know, when you go uphill, it will estimate, oh, you're not going to make it. And then we go downhill, it's going to say, oh, yeah, you can make it, you can make it just fine. Uh, so, gum has its, its uh, pros and cons. Uh, but okay, so enough about that. So the difference between uh, let me just go back here uh, Typical and rated and um, you see uh, some of you guys who just bought the car and you'll be like Oh, yeah, but you know uh, I didn't get the the range uh, that was uh, advertised well most likely you have your uh, Setting on typical which is a good thing you leave it on typical rated is like you drive with a hat or something Yeah, you drive really slow or something or I don't know Typical is more realistic. So what you should do when, once you buy the car is set to the typical, typical because the rated is really hard to achieve. This one, 
yeah, it's not gonna, not, ain't gonna happen. Yeah, let's put it that way. Uh, but also another thing I'm gonna point out is that you cannot use this range uh, as a measurement for battery degradation because degradation, I mean, okay, degradation will happen. So people who think that your your car does not degrade, it's not true. I mean, everyone gets old, older, yeah. Everything ages. The battery pack will also age. That's a fact. So, um, for instance, if you have a fully charged car and you get, let's say, uh, 400 kilometers, and then after two years, you still get 400 kilometers, that doesn't mean that you don't have a degradation. It means that t during that time, Tesla might have changed the formula. Remember what I said? 200 was the base. Maybe they tweaked it so that the base is not 200 anymore for this car. The base is 195. And then suddenly, it could seem like you would have more range. But in reality, what matters in the end is over here, like how much energy you can get out of your battery pack if you charge it to 100% and then slowly discharge it with a low consumption to 0% then you will know how much degradation you have and just to make it even more confusing to you and why you should not look at the, the um, um, this this like estimation uh, for degradation is that okay so we see 133 kilometers right okay so I'm gonna do something here if you go to controls range mode okay switch it off okay 133 Let's see, it takes uh, like 10 seconds, then it should change. Um, hmm. How long is it going to take? She. Every time I'm going to demonstrate something, it doesn't happen. Oh. Okay, okay. Hmm. Come on. Okay, let me switch on range mode again then. 133 hmm. because that one changes they I mean when you when you switch a range mode on and off you will get a different range estimation so uh, maybe it's better if I use rated yeah let me try to provoke that okay let me switch here settings uh, rated okay because then we get a higher number uh, 160, oh sorry, 167, okay. Let's switch on, uh, off range, range mode. 167, let me see what happens. It should change. I just tested this right before I started recording just to verify that it still works like that. But of course, now that I'm gonna show you guys, it doesn't work. Oh, freaking, oh. Okay, whatever then, whatever then. But uh, my point was that when you switch on and off range mode, the, the range, increases and decreases by one back and forth when you switch that I don't know what the heck why it doesn't happen now it could have something to do with with the, the temperature of the battery pack so um yeah let me switch on range mode and I usually just have range mode on and I don't use uh, rated I use typical yeah uh, but uh, another last thing I want to show you is that okay I said that there is no gum so this this range here is based on a constant, so that means that no matter how hard you drive and how, how much you consume, you will kind of be confused that, um, like, especially nowadays, you see here, we have, um, we have really, like, wet road, and wet road consumes more energy, and it's getting kind of cold outside. So, what will happen is that your car, your car will consume more, but, but this estimation won't update. It will still be uh, uh, the same summer and winter. It will still show you, let's say, 400 kilometers on the full charge, but suddenly you will consume more. So, like, you drive 50 kilometers, but you consume 70 kilometers, right? But in summer, dry road, you drive 50 kilometers, and you might only consume 50 kilometers in the display here. But um, there's always a but. Yes, yes, um, you can use the energy graph as an estimation. So um, this one reveals that I've been driving with a trailer today because uh, average consumption is 300 and something. So yeah, you have to drive really hard to average over 300. But I pull the trailer and you see here, 
this one estimates uh, a range based on the last 50 kilometers so if I switch to this one last 25 kilometers then it uses that that previous uh, distance to estimate the range and you see the projected range is not the same here I don't know what the heck I did uh, driving like a stolen car I guess or something or the trailer uh, so you see we have a higher lower projected range so you can use this as an indication of uh, how much range you have if you pull a trailer or if you drive I don't know your this one is like a gum in a way yeah uh, but of course it's based on the last 50 kilometers I'm not sure how the gum on the other cars uh, the other EVs work uh, but they are they also similar to this one that they they base the the range on uh, your last whatever distance driven yeah so um, I hope this was uh, this video was uh, useful for you because I see lots of questions about I don't know about the range here about degradation everything uh, you know I'm just curious because uh, let's see that's 134 okay let, if I switch off range mode I'm gonna get more, one more kilometer <laughs> I just want to show you guys that but um, yes so, um, I hope this video was useful for you uh, when it comes to rated whatever yeah all that stuff yeah all right so um it didn't change by the way oh shit okay but that's it for now then so bye bye